You speak of Skyrim like you know the land. Know its people. You're from Cyrodiil. You know nothing about us. Nothing! Oh, I know enough. I know those troublemaking Stormcloaks refuse to submit to Imperial authority. Such seditious behavior. Why, it's treason! And when the Elves marched into your beloved Cyrodiil, and everyone took up arms against them, wasn't that treason? Against the Dominion, huh? Why, that's not the same thing at all. The Dominion were invaders, conquerors. We had to fight them to preserve our own way of life. My point exact. Victoria may be I still think my boy should have had a traditional Nord wedding. Outside, in the cool mountain air. No, I'm not having a good time. My boy just married a god's forsaken imperial. Skyrim is full of eager Nord women, and he beds down with the enemy. Support Ulfric, or die trying. What an amazing day this has been. I hope you've been enjoying the festivities. I'm... I'm just so overwhelmed. Such kindness... for me. Oh! Well, you tell your Stormcloak friends hello right back at them. This is a day of healing. Legion, Stormcloaks, all are welcome here. Now, now, fella, let's not get too close to my new bride, eh? The best. Vitoria's a good woman. Any man should be so lucky. I know my father is not happy about me marrying an Imperial, but that is his problem. It's been good talking to you. I'm just here to provide protection for His Eminence's cousin. Please, enjoy yourself. Solitude. I just wanted to take this time to thank you all for being here. To thank you for sharing this wonderfully happy day with myself. Victoria! No! The bride has been murdered! Somebody help! Somebody help! Never should have come. Astrid ordered me to keep an eye on you. Figured you could use a hand when the chaos erupted. Astrid ordered me to keep an eye on you. Figured you could use a hand when the chaos erupted. Astrid ordered me to keep an eye on you. Figured. We could always use help picking crops if you need a few extra coins. I.
<laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an Emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Ah, and of course, a bonus for killing Vici while she addressed her guests as instructed. Gold. Simple and pure. Spend it as you will. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. As I said, go speak with Gabriella. She's been assisting me with your next... This emperor is It does involve everything. Infiltrated the position, eliminated the target, and made it look like an accident. Impressive. I'd say you earned your bonus on that one. You give me too much credit. For how could I fail? I am, after all, just a little girl. What threat could I possibly pose? <laughs> Dear brother, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge, and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sippus. Once he's dead, Plant the incriminating letter on his body, and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge, or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. It's a small town, with one rather unique feature. It houses Skyrim's only Penitus Oculatus outpost. It was established by Commander Morrow when he first arrived in Skyrim several months ago when he began preparing for the Emperor's initial visit. No, so your best plan is to follow him after he leaves Dragonbridge. However, there is one other option. We know there's an actual written travel schedule, somewhere in the Penitus Arculatus outpost. Securing that would, obviously, be most beneficial. Killing Commander Morrow would do no good. Someone would merely replace him. No. We need him to remain in charge, but distracted, weakened. Implicate and kill his son Gaius, and the commander will be grief-stricken and humiliated, his family name ruined. The security plan will then fail. Best yet, the Emperor will be lulled into a false sense of security, thinking an assassination plot had already been discovered and foiled. Walk in Gaius Morrow's shadow, and deliver to him the judgment of Sippus.
So, is it true? You must be talking about the caravan job. To kill triplets secretly, and then have the whole thing blamed on the mother. Remarkable. What? You think me too old? Too feeble? There is more knowledge in me than the two of you pups put together. And knowledge... Knowledge Will there ever come a time when the people of Skyrim no longer need our Let's services? Hear it. I think not. Remember, your target is Go Gaius on. Morrow, the son, not Commander Morrow, the father. We need him alive. But the son? Ha! Scorch his face off. Yes? What's the matter, listener? Night Mother not feeling very chatty these days? You need help from your flesh and blood lessers? Yeah. Good luck. Brother, I've taken the liberty of visiting the cities and spreading some nasty rumors about Gaius Marrow to make his treachery that much more believable. Kill people, and often. Father, you worry too much. I'll be fine. I know you will, but all the same, remember everything I said. Stay alert. When you get to the cities, make your observations and move on. I understand, but you're being paranoid. I'm inspecting security, not charging off into battle. There's not a lot that can go wrong. Son, 
when the Emperor's safety is concerned. Anything could go wrong. Off with you now, and good travels. You must be lost. The tavern is down the road a piece. Get away from me.
Important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. of the Emperor was murdered in solitude at her own damn wedding. Sure. Where the feast across the river, Forsworn have taken refuge in Broken Tower Redoubt and Red Eagle Redoubt. Keep back, citizen. I have important business I must attend to.
At last. I've been anxiously awaiting your return. Yes, I know. As does Astrid. You have done well, and have earned both your reward and a bonus, as I have mentioned. But you should know that we have a more pressing matter to deal with. It's... Cicero. There's been an incident. You should proceed into the sanctuary. I'll let Astrid explain. Maybe some other time I'll reveal your destiny, hmm? Token, you say? Let me see. Oh, goodness me! You're a friend of Gabriella's, then. Well, I guess we both know why you're here. Hmm. Well, yes, yes, I... I surely can. It... it's not something I do lightly, mind you, and it's... it's not as specific as you might want, but... Yes, I... I will do this for you. Please, relax. Free your mind. Yes, that's it. There's a cave. No, not a cave. A... home. A, a, a place you feel secure. You will find safety there. Sanctuary. I see snow, lit by the star of dawn, and you are not alone. There are others, a child of night, a stalker of the sands. Oh, but before you are family, there will be blood, such blood. Wait, there's something else, a potential for adventure and wealth. It is a ruin, ripe for the plunder. Deepwood, Redoubt, far to the northwest. Through there is Hag's End, the last resting place of an assassin of old. A dark brother who bequeaths his ancient earthly possessions to you. No, no, that is all. Now, now, please. I find myself very weary all of a sudden. This is not the time to keep Astrid waiting. 